Hi and welcome to Brithawks 3DP. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and follow along for my content, usually 3D printed related, but today it's gonna to be an unboxing and review of a gadget I purchased from AliExpress. Uh, I'll go into more details on that in a second, but just an update on where we are. This is Easter Sunday, 2020. Uh, England and the rest of the world, I think, is in lockdown uh, regarding the coronavirus, and it's a crazy time. But I'm still getting packages. This one came through about a week ago, uh, direct from China. Uh, took approximately two weeks to get here. I purchased it for thirty-nine pounds and I think sixty-four pence. Uh, there is a little bit of backstory with this. I actually ordered this same product about eight months ago. Uh, I can't remember if it was AliExpress or Banggood, but uh, it never arrived. I actually had to apply for a refund, which I got, and then never bothered to order again until now. I recently saw a review, uh, one of my friends, uh, another YouTuber, did a review of the item and I thought, well, Let's have a look and see if it can help me with repairing and working on my 3D printers. So let's get this unboxed and see what's inside. Okay, so I haven't opened this yet, only taken the outer packaging off. Okay. So here, are the uh, Wellstick 1F. This particular one came with an accessory kit as an extra, which is to do mainly with uh, phone accessory and, uh, repair and so on. Let's take a look at this quickly first. It's a little brush. I think that's a prizing tool. And in here we have a static wristband. And also ooh, some mini sockets. M2.5 up to M5. Okay, quite a nice little case. Wow stick on the, the front there. I have seen these cheaper, I think down to about £15, but I went for this particular kit, one because it had this little extra extra few parts. But also I guess I was hoping it was going to be an original, which it does look like. First impression, the packaging does look very nice. Almost like a mobile phone kind of quality packaging. Let's see what we get in here. So, I think this is a magnetic screw pad. Something when you're on unassembling parts. So I think this is magnetic and uh, you can work on this and the bit, your screws won't roll around or get lost hopefully. It's quite nice. Okay. Um, a group of bits. I'm not going to open all of these but generally. Okay, it's quite nice. And it's all different flat heads, Philip heads, all minute. It's 
some very small ones in there and it looks like I've got a few hex allen key set bits I think yep so kind of what I was hoping to get all these sizes are on the cases telling you what there so there's a or H0.7 up to H3 and the pieces are marked stamped with wow and then their sizes so that's good okay so that's X1 And the boxes don't particularly say what sizes they are, so I'm guessing you have to open them up to find out. Another set of bits. Okay, what's in this little box? Okay, this is the stand desk stand. Quite a heavy lump of alley, I guess, aluminium. Sure. Yep, it's not magnetic, so I'm pretty sure that's aluminium. Okay. And here we have a little case, I guess, for the pen or the driver bits. Snaps quite nicely together. I guess it will keep it nice and tidy. Another few bits. Okay. In this little box we have a charger cable, a little suction cup for screens, I guess. And a little pick for, I think this is for getting under, for phones and things like that. A little demagnetizer and magnetizer. Don't really know how that works yet, but I'm pretty sure it's quite simple. And a tiny little bottle with some screws. Very small little screws. Quite cute. Okay. This one yet. Okay, well. What's this? Okay, a little caddy. To hold a few bits, I guess. Nice on the desktop. And this is a screwdriver. That one's empty. Yep, okay. Pretty light. Um, okay, it's got a bit of a charge. It's got a nice little light there. And forward and back. There's a bit of talk, not not a terrible amount. Okay, let's put this into action and see what it can do. Okay, just for a little test, I'm gonna unscrew some of these parts, re-screw them up, see how it works. Mainly for the little screws, maybe the motor screws on the side, and actually the screws that hold it all together. I'm gonna pop on the extension.
Okay, so that one I had to loosen by hand first. The torque wasn't enough to get that out. I know I have heard that the torque could be a little bit low, is it? Sorry, or, or weak. But then again, for what this is made for, I guess it's you need to tweak it by hand, and then just it just helps you with the rest of it. So the torque's not handling that, but I give it a twist, and then it will take care of the rest for me, which is kind of nice. And off that comes. So, yeah, I think it can be helpful. Okay, unboxing done, and I've had a little play and initial impressions. Really well packed, really well packed, a nice design, useful tools, a good selection of bits. Uh, with the accessory pack, you get a few little, like this extension, it's a nice little uh, help, especially for hard to reach areas. Uh, so for use, you're not going to be driving big screws in with this. It doesn't have a lot of torque. It seems to be designed as just to help you alleviate unscrewing completely and screwing in completely. The first or the last little bit needs to be done by hand, but it has enough, it holds tight so you can just tighten up that last little bit or loosen and then remove with the electric function. So for that usage is great. Um, again, well made, well packed, looks pretty good, a nice little gadget, a nice little tool. Um, do I need it? No. Was it expensive? Not particularly. Uh, am I gonna use it? Yes. Uh, if I only got to take one bolt out, I probably still would grab an Allen key, but if I've got a few to do, this is going to save some time uh, and should be a, a good uh, addition to the arsenal of tools that I have when uh, stripping down printers or reassembling. It's just going to make it a little bit faster and a little bit easier. Um, so, do I like it? Yes. Am I going to use it? Yes. Was it worth the money? I think so. So generally, uh, hopefully a good purchase. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. Uh, if you're thinking of getting one, you know, I've got no affiliate links. This is literally something I bought myself. I bought it from Amazon Express. I'm sure you can get them on, uh, sorry, not Amazon Express, AliExpress. I'm sure you can get them from a lot of different places. Again, I paid approximately 40 pounds for this with the uh, additional little case of bits, which I might use, I might not. They say they have some nice little tweezers in there, which could be handy. Uh, but generally, you know, it seems well made and a nice little gadget. Yeah, it's cool. Hope it was useful. Please consider subscribing, following for more gadgets and uh, 3D printing to come soon. Again, uh, I hope you're well. Please take care in these crazy times of the coronavirus. Stay at home and all that other stuff and take care of yourselves. And as always, happy printing.